What happened to Indiana University student Lauren Spear? What have we learned in the 10 years since she disappeared? And who might have been involved on the night she went missing? Lauren Spear vanished without a trace in the early morning hours of June 3, 2011. According to reports, she was last seen at approximately 4.30 a.m. in downtown Bloomington, Indiana. Earlier that evening, shortly after midnight, Spear and David Ron left Lauren's apartment to meet up with some of their friends. They reportedly went to Jay Rosenbaum's residence at Five North Townhomes to meet Rosenbaum, Corey Rossman, and fellow student Mike Beth. At approximately 1.30 a.m., Spear and Rossman left Rosenbaum's home and went to Kilroy Sports Bar. They left the bar at approximately 2.25 a.m., with Lauren accidentally leaving her shoes and phone in the establishment. They started walking to the Smallwood Plaza apartments where Lauren lived. Sometime between 2.30 and 2.42 a.m. up on the fifth floor, Rossman allegedly said something smart to a group of fellow students. One of the students decks Rossman, and he later claims no memory of the evening as a result of the attack. Surveillance cameras recorded Spear and Rossman walking back toward the five North townhomes between between 2.48 and 2.51 a.m. Reports suggest that Spear was heavily intoxicated and fell on multiple occasions. Her purse and keys were later found in an alley. Once there, Mike Beth reportedly took Rossman to his room and put him to bed. Spear, however, returned to Jay Rosenbaum's home, two doors down from Beth's. She allegedly wanted to continue drinking and eventually left his town home at 4.30 a.m. and began walking east on 11th Street. The last time she was seen alive is exactly where we're standing. Widespread social media attention led to an extensive ground search by volunteers and local police. Based on an anonymous tip, Indiana State Excise Police searched Lake Monroe for clues, but divers found no evidence whatsoever. On June 9, 2011, the Spear family offered a $100,000 reward for the safe return of their daughter. Authorities announced that they had identified 10 persons of interest in Lauren's disappearance. Corey Rossman and Mike Beth were asked to submit DNA samples to rule them out as possible suspects. Spear's disappearance was also featured on America's Most Wanted on June 11, 2011. Authorities said they received approximately 350 tips after the program aired. Unfortunately, none of the tips led to the discovery of Spears' whereabouts or the identification of a suspect. Up to 1,000 people a day were reportedly searching for Lauren in Bloomington, Indiana and the surrounding area. Throughout June of 2011, authorities revealed more details about the morning Spear vanished, including maps, enhanced surveillance images, and a detailed timeline. They also continued questioning Lauren's friends and her boyfriend, Jesse Wolf, who was reportedly not present when she disappeared. Indiana University also increased the reward for information leading to Spears' location or an arrest and her abduction by $50,000. Between June and July, authorities and volunteers searched the Hoosier National Forest and the Sycamore Ridge Landfill. However, nothing of significance was found. Jay Rosenbaum was the last known person to see Lauren Spear alive. Amid the ongoing investigation, he cooperated with authorities and consented to take a polygraph exam, which he passed, according to reports. By early 2012, the reward offered for information in the case was increased to $250,000. The bodies of several other women were found in the months and years after Spear vanished, but Lauren's disappearance has remained a mystery. Fox 59 reports that searches were eventually called off and the tips dwindled. However, authorities are hesitant to declare it a cold case. Spears' parents contend that Jay Rosenbaum, Corey Rossman, and Kilroy's sports bar were all negligent on the morning their daughter vanished. In their opinion, Rosenbaum, Rossman, and the bar staff knew Spear was intoxicated and had a duty of care to make sure she was safe. There are some prevailing theories as to what may have actually happened to Lauren. Most people reportedly believe the 20-year-old student was abducted by a stranger. However, there are several other possibilities. Lauren Spears' boyfriend, Jesse Wolf was not present when she went missing. However, it has been suggested that he had something to do with her disappearance. As reported by Talk Murder to Me, some people have suggested the group of men who attacked Corey Rossman outside the Smallwood Plaza apartments were sent by Wolf. Other theories suggest Wolf may have abducted her himself. Per USA Today, Wolf refused to take a polygraph test administered by the Bloomington Police Department. However, his parents contend he passed a polygraph test administered by a third party. USA Today reports that Spear and Wolf exchanged text messages in the hours prior to her vanishing. According to Wolf, Spear told him she was at home and going to bed. Instead, she and David Ron left for a night of drinking. Talk Murder to Me reported that Lauren Spear had been diagnosed with a rare heart condition and her doctors had warned her against using alcohol and drugs. However, in an interview with police, Jay Rosenbaum said that in addition to drinking on the night of her disappearance, Spear allegedly snorted clonopin and cocaine. Speaking to USA Today, Jesse Wolf's mother, Nadine, alleged that Spears' drug and alcohol use would often lead her to experience blackouts. I think she didn't make wise choices that night, but she didn't make herself disappear. 
One theory that has persisted through the years is that Spear either overdosed or had a medical emergency related to her heart condition. Talk Murder to Me reports that some people believe Spear's death was accidental and that her body was disposed of because her friends feared they'd be implicated in her death. However, there is a very real chance that Spear was abducted by a stranger. As she was petite and severely intoxicated, authorities say she was especially vulnerable. Per the Daily Mail, Spear's parents refuted reports that their daughter was a drug addict and said there was no evidence she used drugs on the night she vanished. They also allegedly believe that their daughter's friends know more than they are saying. For now, her disappearance remains a mystery. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.